In this video, I want to show you how to set up Face ID on your iPhone 17, 17 Pro and Air. So all you have to do is to open the settings of your iPhone. Once you're in settings, go down until you see Face ID and Passcode. Tap on this. And now you'll have to enter the passcode, the password of your iPhone. Once you're over here, you're going to go down and select set up face ID. Now make sure that you're going to look directly over here in the camera in the front camera of your iPhone and press get started. So right now I'm looking at it. Okay. I position my face right in the middle and I'll do a circle. So I'll look up and slowly move my head. So it does a full 360 degrees. As you see, it becomes green as it's registering my head. And at the end, you're going to get a green screen telling you that it has registered your face. Now it's asking you if you want to do the same thing, but with a mask. If you're going to wear a mask often, Face ID can still work. It's just that you have to register your face wearing a mask. So go ahead, put the mask on and press use Face ID with a mask if this is what you want. If not, like myself, I don't intend to use a mask. I'll press on don't use Face ID with a mask. Press done. And now on the top over here, it will tell you Dif um, the different options that you have. So when do you want to use Face ID? You can turn this on and off depending of your choice. So do you want to use it to unlock your phone? Most people will say yes. So I suggest you leave it on. For iTunes and App Store. So every time you purchase something, do you want Face ID to be requested? So not everybody can just take your phone and buy stuff with um, your account. And then you have contactless and payment. So when you're at the store and you want to do a payment with your phone, it can requ be required in that situation. And finally, password autofill. So when you're on internet and you want to log in in a website and it asks you for your username and password, do you want your iPhone to um, use Face ID so that your information are automatically entered in that website so you can log in quickly? Again, this is an option that is available. What you can also do in case, let's say, I don't know, you're using a lot of makeup and your face changes, uh, change quite a, a lot when you put makeup or maybe, I don't know, you're wearing a certain pair of glasses that changes your face. Well, you can click over here, set up an alternate appearance. In addition to continuously learning how you look, Face ID can recognize an alternate appearance. So you can register your face when you're wearing those things or, you know, that makeup. And if we go down, we also have reset face ID. If you want to delete this feature and you don't want to have, let's say in the future, you, you didn't like using it, well, you can simply reset face ID and it will go away completely. So this is about it. Thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. If so, leave a comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.